getting started using the paint estimator. After you install the program and you launch for the first time, you're going to see a screen that looks something like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is update your company name, add your employees, and any overhead you might have. So just go ahead, click the company profile button. This form will pop up. For your company name, address, your phone numbers, just click the edit button here. Fill out this information, click update, and close. To add yourself, click anywhere on this row where it says the boss. You're the boss, you're the owner, click, click it and click edit. Fill out your name, your phone number and stuff like that. The hourly wage is what you're going to be paying yourself when you're actually working on a job. Uh, this doesn't include profits or anything like that. I would pay yourself what you'd pay anybody else with your same skill set level. Uh, you can probably zero out the payroll here since you're going to be paying self-employment taxes and not payroll taxes on yourself. After you fill out this information, go ahead click the save button and exit. If you have employees or an employee, uh, you can click on the employee one here and edit, change, oh, actually we didn't click on that row, there we go, fill out their name, their wage, uh, their tax rates and stuff like that. Uh, the comment box is, is kind of used from time to time, say an employee shows up late, you can just write here, showed up late, and it'll keep like a timestamp of all this, so you have a log, you know, kind of becomes helpful down the road when to determine whether or not you have a clown working for you or not, or some guy that's just a goof off. Um, <clears throat> or you can add good stuff too to determine whether or not they get a raise, you know, impressed you, did five more windows than you thought they would do. Um, Anyways, after you finish filling this information out, go ahead, click Save, Exit. If you have more than one employee, just add and keep adding till you have all your employees in this box up here. Um, down here is your overhead. This is your company profit, 10% the default. Working hours per year, 2,000 is the default. Um, if you only work summers, you can change this. Obviously, if you change this to a lower number, these numbers will raise. Um, employee perks. This is where you can give sick days and holidays for your employees. And this will tell you over here how many days they have to work in order to earn one one day. Um, and it will add this percentage onto their overhead. Workers comp. You have a few options here. Option A, this is kind of the California method. If you're making 26 or more an hour, usually the rate is half of what it would be if you're making less than twenty six dollars an hour or you can just use option B which is just a, a straight percentage on their wage you can choose your option here and you can exclude the owner from having workers comp um, click the update button the insurance tab is where you're going to add your liability or bond all types of insurances you have to run your business just fill out the name here the phone number if necessary and how much it costs per year. Click the add button and keep doing that to all your insurances. Marketing, business cards, flyers, website fees, just same thing here, type it in here, phone number if, if needed, and the yearly cost and click add. All other overhead is basically every single thing that you can possibly think that you spend to run your business will go here. Just type it in again in this box here, click the add button, and uh, again if, it, if there is a phone number you can enter it here, you don't have to put it there. Um, the employee taxes just, just kind of shows your responsibility of what you're going to have to pay for the employees. Um, there's really nothing to edit here, it just this gets adjusted when this gets adjusted. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Now you're ready to you know, start your first estimate. You, you fill this all out and you'll see these numbers change. This kind of tells you what the overhead, the workers comp, this is, this is added to this wage. Uh, so you're ready to start your first estimate.